Publius Scipio, your unrelenting victories over Carthage's allies have brought you renown, but greater triumphs await. With Hispania and her Iberian tribes subdued by your legions, you ventured across the sea to the hot sands of Africa to threaten Carthage herself. Your gamble has succeeded. Hannibal has abandoned his Italian campaign to rush to the defense of his homeland. The Carthaginians are numerous and will fight with the determination of men defending their homes. But you have yet another gambit in play. King Massinissa of the Numidian desert tribes has betrayed Hannibal and bolsters your auxiliaries with his horsemen. Defeat Hannibal on the battlefield of Zama, and Carthage will finally know the price of defying Rome. Alrighty folks, hello and welcome back to the Rise of Rome campaign. We are on Scenario 5, the Battle of Zama. So this mission is a little bit more straightforward than the last. You just need to destroy three docks in the harbour and then bring Scipio to the blue flags at Carthage's Bursa Forum. Let's begin. We are going to start by building a TC here. The scouts, so we're just going to ping them off. I'm going to focus quite heavily on food. Actually, you stop this guy from building that. She's going to back out from here. Take the free win. Move on. Don't want to take these guys on just yet. So we actually want to be taking these guys on as a separate control group. Whilst we're winding up these guys, we're going to continue to grab our eco. Rippling yellow is actually really useful because yellow is the one that will actually attack us. Red is very defensive. elephants are very annoying to deal with. Do be careful we don't lose Scipio. Use these guys to cripple their economy. Last team two takes care of the buildings. So us attacking the enemy also has serves as a dual purpose in the sense that it also stops the enemy from attacking us for the most part, since they're too busy defending their own lands. And because we attack them early enough, we don't really have much in the way of army. So we can pretty much just crush everything. 
I will say yellow does have a lot of structures, a lot of bases and whatnot, so actually killing them is pretty difficult, but crippling them, which is what we're doing, much more manageable. I say red won't attack us, it's just yellow that does, so taking yellow out early is a uh, it's the way to go. I do also want to build a couple of docks. Yeah, that should pretty much be the end of uh, end of yellow in terms of their attacks. Not quite sure what they're doing, but okay. Yeah, might as well grab some fish food. over here. Have this on no attack ground. Take care of a couple of other yellow buildings. Make sure my boy is nice and topped off. Losing him is the lose condition for this mission. Grab these guys. Some berries up here. There we go. So we need wooden gold basically for that bolt tree M's. I also need to grab the government center to upgrade uh, the uh, range on our catapult triams. Normally and ordinarily if you don't take, take out the enemy base you'd basically end up losing, well you'd, you'd basically just be attacked constantly in this mission. So the fact that we managed to uh, stop that in its tracks makes this mission far more manageable. These guys will just uh, continue to harass the enemy, take out buildings that are free. Maxed. Okay, we need to get rid of stuff we don't need.
blue. Man, I hate priests with a passion. Pulling the enemy away from their base actually not a bad thing either. Next up, we need to build a marketplace. Now we do the dock side, the navy side of things. We don't actually need to get juggernauts um, as much as we can. We really don't need them. Take down Temple. So the enemy just has loads of stables and things, so which is why we want to take out their economy first rather than military buildings, because they've just got so many of them. So actually getting um, Scipio to uh, main thing isn't too bad to be fair, it's pretty straightforward. Start killing a few things off. Don't think we need these. Da ba da ba 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 da 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 ba da
Need to be further range pretty much on the wall at this point. We're just uh, going through the motions. Need to make sure we kill the docks before we uh, commit to pushing into the enemy. Breeze are the most annoying thing in this mission. Wow, we actually converted it. I'll be damned. I wish the catapult trams looked visually different than normal trams. Genuinely really hard to tell. So the conversion's the only problem we need to be mindful of when rushing in with Scorpio. Why are we on one and a half times? I don't understand how that happened. I'm very confused how that happened. Okay, sure. I thought everything was a little bit slow. Don't know when that happened. Sure, where from? So we're just clearing up our landing basically, making it easier for us to run in with Scorpio. I'm using attack ground so it doesn't trigger the enemy. Dun, 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 dun. Out of it. priests. <laughs> right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lure some enemies out with this army. Zero. Should just be a straight run straight to the uh, to the end. This is the only dangerous part of this mission because Scorpio could still die. Or Scipio, whatever his name is. Scipio. So they do have a load of centurions or phalanx or whatever defending. Oh, we need to take care of this. No, we don't. Ah, or not. I guess we pulled them away. GG's. Alright. Pretty straightforward this one, to be fair. Hannibal has been defeated, and the leaders of Carthage beg Rome for peace and forgiveness. To mark your great victory at Zama, the Senate has bestowed the name Africanus upon you. Rome will soon turn her gaze to the north and the east for new victories. But for now, all of Rome celebrates your triumph, Scipio Africanus. All right. Well, that right about do it for this video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and as always, I shall see you in the next video.